Here's your guide on how to play Yamoja in Smite 2. Yamoja is a really unique goddess in Smite 2, with the main reason being that she doesn't have any traditional mana. So let's dive right into her passive, because that has to do with her not having a mana. Her passive is Omi, and instead of mana, Yamoja uses Omi to cast her abilities, except for her ultimate. At level 1, Yamoja starts with 7, and she can earn she can earn up to 10. Also, Yamoja's passive also allows her to heal allies that are hit with her autos. And another unique thing about Yamoja is her auto attacks are ranged autos. So you can be healing from a distance and be doing damage at a distance. An important thing to note for Yamoja, all of her abilities except for her ultimate don't have cooldown, so you can spam them as much as you want. And building cooldown reduction increases duration on your Omi. But building cooldown is a really important thing for Yamoja. Yamoja's first ability and your main damaging ability is Bouncing Bubble, and it's also Moonstrike. This has two different actions on it. The first one, Bouncing Bubble, you toss a bubble that bounces twice, dealing damage and slowing enemy gods that are hit, and then it explodes into smaller bubbles. Upon using this ability again, it is Moonstrike. It's, it's essentially a horizontal line of damage, but it's done in circles that are growing in size, which the center circle also stuns enemy gods. Your second ability is Mending Waters. Yamoja fires a wave dealing damage to enemies. This also heals ally gods if they're hit with them and providing a shield for them as well. And if you hit an enemy that has a shield on, this will do bonus damage to that shield. An important thing to note with this, it will also bounce between ally gods. Yamoja's third ability is Riptide. Now this is a especially fun ability. You basically create a water riptide that you allies and enemies can get propelled through. And depending on where you place this, when you use the ability, you'll see that it has a threshold on it. When where the threshold turns orange, that will send players backwards. And when it's blue, it will send it forwards. But important thing to note is when enemy gods go through it, they will not be going as fast as you. So if you're using it to escape, this will help you run away from gods. And it's also a nice little knock on enemy gods as well. Yamoja's ultimate is where the high skill plays come into. Yamoja's ultimate is River's Rebuke, conjures up two large walls of water that block enemy gods and will also block abilities that would get blocked by walls anyways. After some time, it, the waves will come crashing down, dealing a fair amount of damage, trembling, and slowing enemy gods that are hit. Allies are allowed to walk in and out of this wall though. I prefer to play Yamoja in the support role, so here's a build based off of that. First item I like to go is War Flag, then straight into Glad Shield. Follow that up with a Talisman of Purification, and then Breastplate of Valor. After that, it's pretty situational. What you'll buy will vary per game, but odds are you'll probably need some form of anti-heal, so Runus Ankh is a good item to go. Hope this guide helped you understand how Yumoja works, and if you have a better build for her, drop it in the comments below.